AI agents are useless if they cannot connect with other systems. Today I'm building a team of six AI agents, all for customer service. So when an email arrives in Zendesk, our team of AI agents analyzes, categorizes, draft response and then sends it back to Zendesk. And this entire system is only built with five prompts in Lovable. So no NNN, no Python, it's really simple. So my promise to you is by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to connect agents built in Lovable with any external service. So let's build it. Okay, so as you might have seen in my last videos, we are using Lovable Cloud for this. And the first thing we obviously need to do is just start out with a prompt. And the nice thing is if you can just envision it, we can already build it because we just need to have an idea and Lovable just knows how to execute it. So let me copy paste the prompt. We say, please create a team of AI agents for our customer care. And this is almost just a description that you can get from a client that explains what he wants. So we say, please create a team of AI agents for our customer care. We want to do this for our SaaS called Daydo. And that's our software company where we automate cold outreach. And we say we should have one main agent which orchestrates towards different agents if needed. So we want sales, existing customers, new customers, partnerships, and maybe some others if you think this is needed. So we also leave some things open so it can come up with good ideas itself. And we now have basically this orchestration agent which can route towards different smaller agents and more specialized agents. So we connect this with our Zendesk, it gets triggered on a newly created ticket. So we now provide an input coming from Zendesk and we write the answer back and we use the API for this. So basically it comes in, we give an answer and we push it back to Zendesk. And we then have some info about our business because obviously it needs to answer questions about our business. So how I did that is I just went to the website and I just copy paste everything and I just pasted it in here. So let's now actually run this. So very shortly, if you're enjoying my video, if you are learning something from it and you think it's useful, please don't hesitate to give me a like and a subscribe because I will putting out a lot of more content like this. And believe me, you don't want to miss out where AI is currently heading. So let's get back to the video. Okay, so it came up with this dashboard and I didn't change a thing about the looks of this dashboard and it's already pretty cool. We see our different agents and we have a section here which has recent tickets, we have live activity feed, perfect. So let me now very shortly get you through everything I did to make the system come together. So we have a prompt, I already showed you that. And it said, okay, we need some secrets because the webhook is incoming, but then we need to write back. So we have some API keys and an email that we need to add to our Superbase secrets. So what I needed to do is I needed to go to Zendesk and we have our settings here. And then in apps and integrations, we have our API configuration. We need to enable that. And then we got our API token and our email address. And that was basically everything I needed to add. So we have our email and then our secret and that's it. So now it could actually write back to Zendesk. Then it enabled AI, it was creating some tables for us and we were just approving here. So we were not doing anything specific, like having some hard prompts. And that was actually the point where the agents were already created. We also have our Zendesk setup. So we can now configure our webhook in Zendesk. And how we did that is we went back to our Zendesk admin, we have webhooks, we have our agent webhook here, and we just gave this endpoint here and we say on every incoming message, we want to activate this webhook. Like this is actually it. I'm not gonna make it harder than we need to. It's really simple. The only thing that we needed to do is we had different input than originally given in our prompt. So we provided it the right JSON format. And once it did that, we could now actually run the whole system. So before showing you what it looks like when we run the whole system, let me show you the amount of prompts that we actually used. We had five AI edits. It's insane. It's already working. It's crazy that we can do this by only explaining what we want. So when we now go back to Zendesk, I can create a new ticket here. I can say ticket. I can have a subject, so I can say, hi, team. I am curious about the product. Can you explain it to me? Pricing, etc. Kind of regards. Look. So we can submit as new. It will now activate our webhook. So if we go back, we'll see here that ticket is received and it is currently in progress. So we have analyzed the ticket, we have routed the ticket, we have generated a response. 
and this is all live happening so this is super super cool we can now approve and send in here so we already have this dashboard connected to ai agents so back end and front end is coming together very seamless they are almost not even two separate things anymore we can click on it we have the correct pricing very cool we have the correct integrations and as you can see here we have our timeline so our ticket is received analyzed routed and it is generated so really awesome let me now show you that also the sending is working so if i now approve and send okay response approved the response has been sent to zendesk and we can now come back and as you can see here we have our emails it's really sick i'm very sure that this is the direction where we are going where just one prompt can build a whole system for us we can automate everything and please now for one second imagine where this is gonna go in one two five years like when ai is even smarter it understands even more thanks for watching my complete video if you've enjoyed this and you've learned anything from it please don't hesitate to give me a like and a subscribe because i'm really grateful for it and you will see a lot of more content coming out like this so I will see you in the next one.